This resource here is the Grohler Online uh, Popular Science. If you go back to the NC Wiseau page and click on Popular Science, you'll get right to this page here. But this is a resource just for science. Uh, and so there's a lot of neat information here. Um, in the cyclopedia, it's basically just a science encyclopedia. And so you can find your category that you're looking at and then find the information. One of the neat features that I think uh, I like a lot is the News Bytes. The News Bytes, uh, what it does is provides a short article. Um, this is kind of a summer reading one, so it's not the most interesting. But it provides a news article, but it also provides a lesson that's going to go with that news article. Uh, so it gives you all the different things that you need to go with that article. So here's the reading at the top of the page, then you've got the News Bytes study guide, and so it's got questions for students to answer uh, as they read that. Uh, it's got leading questions, so what are questions to create the discussion within your classroom. It's got a News Byte activity, so students would go through and try and answer this stuff on, the, on their own. And then it's also got the answers to the activity, which, again, very important. Um, but if I go to the News Bytes home, there should be an archive for the past ones that they have. And so there's a bunch of different materials that they have available there for you. Let's head back to the Popular Science page. Uh, it's got hands-on projects that you can do, um, so you can search by what your topic is. This may be a good thing for uh, science fair activities, so if you know your project name that you're looking for, but this could be good ideas for science fairs. Um, it's got biographies of popular science, um, the Sci Zone, which has challenges, um, and so if you go to Mind Benders, it's got some different uh, games that you can play, um, so word searches, different things like that that students could uh, be looking at. So that's the Sci Zone, the Sci Files, Science Fact Finder, and so it'll help you find facts um, based on some of those information bits on the side. Um, and then there's an Ask Pop Sci, and so it's got some popular science questions that you can ask uh, and find some interesting answers to. But this, this site is geared all towards um, researching about science. We go to the Teacher's Guide. It gives us a breakdown, a little bit better idea of what all the things are that are available within this website. Um, and so a lot of really great stuff here. Um, I think I skipped over the size zone. Oh, I didn't. Okay. It's got some different, uh, this math brain even has some math activities. Uh, so connecting math and science could be a good thing as well, using that resource. But a lot of great available resources through this. So be sure to check it out. It's the Popular Science tab on the side.